YouTube world, this is Sachin Shaw with RV Max coming to you live, showing you this 2024 Venetian R40. And guess where? Look, look at the background. Guess what? Where we are? Anastasia State Park in St. Augustine, Florida. We just picked it up yesterday on our way back home. Let's talk about this thing. Panoramic windshield, the generator opens up and comes out hydraulically. About a I think 140 hours. Come around here, we got a wide door to enter in. It does have a remote keypad, what do you call it? Remote fob, two of them. Has a key entry. Big 295 Michelin tires with Alco aluminum. Rides on a Freightliner chassis. We got a full wall slide here on the passenger side. Nice garage awning coming out here with the LED lights at the end. Also, the uh, entrance awning also has LED lights. Let me turn that on while you're painting it here. Just to, just to show you the awning light. There we go. And turn the patio light on. Speaking of nice patio lights and all that, we do have nice... And about a 37 inch or 40 inch TV here, smart TV with a sound bar on the bottom. Uh, plenty of a luggage under its belly. It's a pass through storage on this next couple of them. Hey, there's an extra belt. I think it's got that tire guard protection. So when you have a flat, you can probably run. I saw that on that little. Hey, there are an extra couple of chairs. Oh, by the way, there is a button for compartment lights. You hit that and it's a bright white LED light. And at night it almost comes out uh, and brightens up the whole floor. It's really nice. We got here last night. It's... Check it out. Another pass-through storage. If you like to put that guard back, it's got a dirt devil up here. Vacuum cleaner. That's a water tank, I believe. Yep. But you could also fill gravity fill if you like to plug it on this side. You could fill your fresh water tank from there. I believe it's what, right at 90 gallon? Plenty, plenty of it. Over here is your chassis batteries. It does have a 400 ISL Cummins. One of the best motors they put in solar charger. Magnum Energy, there are inverters behind this panel because it has a household refrigerator. Coming around the back, we got a solid fiberglass roof up on top with a three air conditioners. Let me repeat, I think I'm gonna talk to you again one more time. It's a three ACs with a heat pump. That was an upgrade. Also, instead of 380, 8.3, you have a nine liter 400 horse. So this coach has upgrade 400 Cummins and a three roof AC with a heat, uh, heat pump. 10,000 pound towing capacity, you reach type 3 hitch. Look at the paint, it's beautiful. It's like a silver lining here, black, white, a little gray, just a beautiful color. It's a one owner, obviously. It was just traded it in on a uh, H345 Prevo bus, Marathon. Here we have a sewer hose, and these are your eight deep cycle batteries. Take it back, there's six. I've seen it right. Six deep cycle, six volt batteries. And that's a plenty of batteries to boondock for a couple of days. It's nice to just plug in. Diesel exhaust flute, uh, DEF. You put it over there. We got a Michelin tires. You know, it's got 7,000 miles. The exact 7,800 miles. We got a freshwater reel. It's just a uh, take it in but uh, water pump switch water heater all, all these stuffs are very uh, self-explanatory we have a fresh water filter system outside shower and it's just your nice uh, wet bay you know so here we go we got a 50 amp power cord coming in from a power cord electric reel so you just pull it out and when you're ready to uncamp you just push button and it'll Ford would go back in. Pretty nice instead of trying to do it with your hand and reel it in. So these these are the compartment that open up on the other side. 
their pass-through storage or if I would call that a pass-through double side so it'll come out this way too and this one extra here this what we have the aqua hot heating it's got a little bit of storage around it but is a 250d aqua hot heating works great we tried it out last night this thing is like brand new okay this is your uh, hydraulic leveling reservoir for hydraulic fluid stuff like that that should be ecm for the chassis side by the way so this is a little lever here you open it up and I might as well show it to you. This thing opens up. It's a spring-loaded torsion. Bottom out. Bottom out. <laughs> so it's easy to remember that way. What is it? Eight thousand. Ten thousand. What? Ten thousand watts? My God, that's another upgrade. Okay, price is going up. <laughs> uh 207 hours sorry i thought it was 140 that's when i talked to the guy but okay about 60 more hours than i thought simple it's easy to work on when you get them out so up and in down and out down and out up and in and uh i think that's a windshield washer fluid look at that 7,000 miles from factory came in they may have used maybe three ounces of it in fact I mean, it looks new. Look at all this. An AC condenser. Wow, your dryer, tent. I mean, it looks brand new. Love it. All right. Hey, by the way, this light lights up at night. This T, the 40. Uh, let me say just a little stuff about it. We not know it all. We've been in the business about 25 years selling motorhome. Thor been around. Some people say, hey, what about Thor? Well, let me tell you, what, Thor just bought Tiffin. If they were not doing something right, they would not own 50% of uh, RV business in America, including the pitch wheel trailers and motorhomes, Integra, and all that. This is a really nice coach. And here's your chance instead of buying a $400,000 brand new, you're gonna buy it at deeply discounted price. Let's go inside. Here, we're inside this almost brand new motorhome. Check it out. TV's everywhere. I love this. That's gotta be a 55 inch big Sony smart TV. It goes up and down with a push-up button. Let me let me show it to you. Right here. Just sit right here, relax, and set TV down. Look at that. It's going there. And I'm sitting relaxed, but I could stop. Let's see. Oh, I, have, I think I did stop. So I hold the button. It'll go down. And I might as well just put it all the way down. It looks a little slanted, but it's, it's fine. Once it comes down, it flushes the tile. Boom. So this sofa becomes full bed. It'll come out. Uh, so you can sleep too. Hey, speaking of sleeping area, it's right above this captain and co-captain chair. Check this thing out. You turn this switch on, crank it up, push it down. Very, very quiet motor. You can't even hear it. Only hear is just a and then you have a little ladder up here. Man, there we are. Get up on top. Man, this is pretty nice. I'm six feet, and I'll tell you what, I got a room up on my head, and two person can sleep here easily. So it'll sleep two here, two there, and two in the back. Six person can sleep in here. All right, and with just a push of a button, it'll go back up. That's really neat. So you know you have an extra sleeping capacity when you need it, and when you don't, it's out of the way. You still fit in here. Those are theater seatings. You got all these remotes. You can go right over here in this cubby. It's a pretty deep cubby. Uh, there are TV remotes. We've got a fireplace. Uh, it has a JBL. It's got a sound bar on top of that TV. So that's pretty neat. Those seats recline, right? They do recline, and let me show it to you. Yes. Theater seating, yep. Really nice. 
Look at the tile work. I love these tiles. Beautiful marble. Ceramic tile, whatever you call it. Uh, let's stay in the kitchen right now. So kitchen consists of a nice little island. Extra cutting space or whatever you call counter space. I love it. The more the merrier. We got a nice backsplash. It's got some metal pieces in it. I mean it's beautiful. You got slow rise shades everywhere. We got nice modern stainless steel sink. Now we haven't had a detail. We just got the couch today. Okay. Uh, lots of storage under there with a sliding drawer. I love that you can put your chemicals here or whatever. Over here, deep closet and deep drawers and then we have a nice induction high point induction stove so it's an all electric coach and you know what that is right here boom we got three plug-ins there and uh, yeah those for your kitchen blenders whatever you want to do with here instead of trying to find it up here I like that we have a nice whirlpool convection oven I like this little handle they added so you don't have to kind of go in here. That's a nice little flavor design. I like like, like that. We have a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Hey, we got some of our kombucha on drinking. <laughs> but it has a nice ice maker on this side, on the freezer side. Really, really nice. Fireplace. Fireplace. Now this is great. I love those bling bling rock on the bottom. And it's a working fireplace. We've got a beautiful solid rock around it, solid stone. And it also extends here with a little nice, I don't know, you'll put a little towel, towel, towel for the kitchen area. I love that. Does that table extend? Table do extend. And the chairs and we'll have are two under. extra chairs below in the motorhome in the slide out tray. Let me go ahead and close this. Locked in place. Yes, look at by the dining, I mean, uh, dining area. You got drawers there, a little storage up there. And I love this counter space. You can put your bread, fruits, uh, whatever have you. More drawers there. Some uh, storage up on top. I love the wood. Look at this. It's like a dark cherry. I'll have to look at it in the brochure and see what, what color they call it. It's just beautiful, glazed. This reminded me of old beaver coaches. Man, they, they, they did a really good job here. They did a good number. Right here, this is your center command. So your home shows you all your water tanks and house batteries and outside, inside temperature. This is all your power source, line one, what you got. Uh, your house batteries, voltage, all that. Uh, AGS, you can do um, auto gen start. You can do all the parameters here. These are all your lights you can turn on, cargo awning lights, uh, service bay lights, all that. Then you go in here, you got three roof here. So let me repeat, let me stop here. Not all Val Valencia, is it Val Venetian? <laughs> Valencia is another coach we had a month ago, he's mixing me up. Venetian, kind of like the beans. Venetian it has a three air, rear, mid, and front. Not all of them have it. So this one's got the upgraded three roof air conditioners with the heat pumps three heat pumps then you come up to the fans kitchen mid bath rear bath bedroom fan you can control you can also control all your slide outs and these are your settings I mean you can go it's got a mobile app too so you can do it with your mobile it's, it's crazy Venetian R40 it's really nice floor plan check out this water closet or half bath or toilet or whatever you call it got plenty of room I like it. It's straight. Some of them are slanted. I like them straight. You got some counter space on the back, along here. Medicine cabinet, some cabinets on bottom. Pretty nice. Like that. By the way, I believe it has a vacuum. How about that? Central vacuum system. That's nice to have. And over here we have a privacy door before you come in the bedroom. and I like this newer coaches. They just go in and snap in. There you go. It's snapped and locked. 
come on in the bedroom. So it has a bed lift when you are not slipping at night. You can put the bed up and you have to get the bed up to get the slide in. By that way, you can have lots of room here uh, to walk around. And on both sides, you got to plug in for your phone charger, small nightstand, it's a king size bed, some storage up on top. Nice little frame picture here. And I like the baseboard, if you call that. What do you call this? Like a, I guess you call a baseboard coming up all the way here. We have two closets on both sides that you can put on. Hang your clothes and they have a light, LED lights comes on. As soon as you open the door, got a big counter space for, I guess, uh, makeup, what do you call it? Vanity. <laughs> Sometimes I run out of words. And we got a deep closet here, three here. I don't need to open them all up. I think there is a, some storage back here. Indeed, yep. And guess what? Here's a little another storage. Uh, not storage, it's just a TV remote. That's nice to have a little storage behind TV. Alright, come on in the master bath. There's an engine access door, as you can see on the tile. It's got an ISL 9, as I told you earlier on the outside video. Nice shower. You can hear a little air conditioning running on the back. I mean, look, I'm six feet, and, you can, and a taller person can stay here and take a nice shower. Got a little sitting area. Nice stand-up shower. When you take off, make sure you lock this. And back sink has a lots of counter space, backsplash. Check out this, you'd love this. Check this out. It's got a big medicine cabinet that comes out all the way out here. And you have two of those. One, this his and her. And one here. And you still have some storage on the bottom. Actually, huge storage with the. I think there are some resettable 12 volt fuse down below. And over here, we have a Whirlpool stack washer and dryer. I'm gonna open up. And another toilet. Now, it's at the slanted uh, way because so you can sit, you know, and have lots of room. Cabinet up on top, low rise. I think this is a stein stained glass window, or what do you call it, so you can't see through. This will conclude our interior video. We will go through the cockpit area. So this thing has a, let's see, power recliner. Yep. 2020, got two sets of keys. I like that little slim. They're slim fast, man. Slim remote, two sets of keys. All right. Oh, you don't have to put a key in it? No, you got to put a key in it, and then the put on a chassis, so pretty normal. Little telescopic tilt. Now, how do you turn this gizmo on? Let's see. Warning. Agree. It's a big, it's an iPad on steroid. I agree. Look at this. Wow. I love it. I'm in love with this problem. So this thing is a fiberglass roof and three roof air conditioners. Big solar panel. And a wind guard, satellite dish. Another big wind guard, satellite dish. Fiberglass roof. Blue out. Three roof ears. Uh, you know what? When you back up in a campsite like that, you got to think about all this prickly stuff. I, I parked it way away from it. But isn't it beautiful? What do you call this, boo? I think it's a saw palmetto or palmetto palm plant. Hey, beautiful. I love it. It's raining up at home right now and it's sunshine here. I love it. <laughs> love Florida.